Hatching unclosed areas and correcting boundary errors. So I'm going to go up and you notice when I try to hover in here, I don't get a preview. That's because I have this gap here. If I try to pick, it's going to come up and say, ah, there's a closed boundary cannot be determined. And so it places these two red circles where possible gaps in the boundary occur. So I can identify then where these areas are at. Now, if I want to get rid of those red circles, I need to type in regen. So I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to type in regen. And I hit enter and it'll get rid of those two areas. Now we can fix the boundary with what's called the gap tolerance. So I'm going to go up to my hatch pattern and I'm going to come over here to my options. And in my options I have gap tolerance. And so I can set a tolerance in which it will skip over that gap. So I'm going to put in like 0 0.30 and I'll say OK. And now I can come over here and hover and I can pick. And it says, hey, wait a minute, the hatch boundary is not closed. What do you want to do? Continue hatching in this area? And the area will be hatched even though one or more gaps exist. And I'll say, sure, let's continue hatching it. And then I can hit enter or close the hatch creation button. And you can see down here, it created the hatch even though there is no boundary there. So there's a, there's a hatch, but it jumped over that gap. And I happen to know that gap was 0.25, so my 0.3 was big enough to jump over that gap. Ideally, you want to fix these uh, errors. But in some cases, you might get a drawing from others that might have a lot of these gaps. And it might be too much time intensive to fix them. So you can go into your gaps, and in your options, you have a gap tolerance. And this uh, typically set to default of zero, but you know, when you need to, you can jump this up to a value which will skip over the gaps and then allow you to create a hatch pattern.